Thank you very much. Our final witness is also using an assumed name, and again, we ask uh, our friends in the media to respect the need to, for her to protect her family. And we finally call on Naira to testify. Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, my name is Naira, and I just came out of Kuwait. My mother and I were in Kuwait on August 2nd for a peaceful summer holiday. My older sister had a baby on July 29th, and we wanted to spend some time in Kuwait with her. I only pray that none of my 10th grade classmates had a summer vacation like I did. I may have wished sometime that I could be an adult, that I could grow up quickly. What I saw happen to the children of Kuwait and to my country has changed my life forever. It has changed the life of all Kuwaitis, young and old. We are children no more. <coughs> my sister, with my five-day-old nephew, traveled across the desert to safety. There is no milk available for the baby in Kuwait. They barely escaped when their car was stuck in the desert, desert sand, and help came from Saudi Arabia. I stayed behind and wanted to do something for my country. The second week after an invasion, I volunteered, volunteered at the al -Adan Hospital with 12 other women who wanted to help as well. I was the youngest volunteer. The other women were from 20 to 30 years old. While I was there, I saw the Iraqi soldiers come into the hospital with guns. They took the babies out of the incubators. took the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. <laughs> it was horrifying. I could not help but think of my nephew, who, if born premature, might have died that day as well. After I left the hospital, some of my friends and I distributed flyers condemning the Iraqi invasion until we were warned we might be killed if the Iraqi saw us. If the Iraqi saw us. The Iraqis have destroyed everything in Kuwait. They, they stripped the supermarkets of food, the pharmacies of medicine, the factories of medical supplies, supplies ransacked their houses, and tortured neighbors and friends. I saw and talked to a friend of mine after his torture and released by the Iraqis. He is 22, but he looked as though he could have been an old man. The Iraqis dumped his head into a swimming pool until he almost drowned. They pulled out his fingernails and applied electric shock to sensitive private parts of his body. He was lucky to survive. If an Iraqi soldier was found dead in a neighborhood, they burned to the ground all the houses in, in the general vicinity and would not let firefighters come until, the, until the only ash and rubble was left. The Iraqis were making fun of President Bush and verbally and physically abusing my family and me on our way out of Kuwait. We only did so because life in Kuwait became unbearable. They have forced us to hide, burn, and destroy every, everything identifying our country and our government. I want to emphasize that Kuwait is our mother and the Emir our father. We repeated, we repeated this on the roofs of our houses in Kuwait until the Iraqis began shooting at us. And we shall repeat it again. I am glad I am 15, old enough to remember Kuwait before Saddam Hussein destroyed it, and young enough to rebuild it. Thank you. Mayor, I thank you. Let me thank all of our witnesses. Uh, we've uh, passed eight years in the existence of the Congressional Human Rights Caucus. We've had scores of hearings about human rights abuses throughout the world. And I know my co-chairman, Tom Lantos, will join me in telling you that we have never heard in all this time, in all circumstances, a record of inhumanity and brutality and sadism as the ones that the witnesses have given us today. I don't know how the people of the civilized countries of this world 
and fail to do everything within their power to remove this scourge from the face of our earth and the witnesses by providing to us eyewitness accounts and reports detailing the conduct of the Iraqi soldiers under the command of Saddam Hussein have done a great service to their country and to ours and to all countries of the world who must join together and take whatever action may be necessary to free the people of Kuwait from this aggression and brutality. Tom Lantos.